I'm Tom Merritt from Daily Tech News Show. Here are five things to know about ChatGPT. ChatGPT gets a lot of attention these days. You probably heard about it. It's AI, sure, but what is it exactly? And should you be scared it's going to put you out of a job? Here are five things to know about ChatGPT. Number five, it uses a large language model. A company called OpenAI developed ChatGPT. It's essentially a chat interface to the large language model called GPT. It uses deep learning to simulate human-like conversations with users. It can generate responses to a wide range of questions and topics, and it makes it a pretty useful tool for things like customer support, language translation, even coding. Coming in at number four, how does ChatGPT work? Well, the T in the GPT is called a transformer, and that's the key to making the whole thing seem human. It's trained on large amounts of data to guess what order words should come in. It looks at what it was trained to do and goes, well, usually when you have these number of words in order, the next word would be this one. And then it uses that training to generate responses to your query. Up to number three, how do you use ChatGPT? Well, that part's pretty easy. You can just go to the web. OpenAI has a page at chat.openai.com. Now, if that is not working or it's a little busy, you can pay for a $20 a month subscription called ChatGPT Plus. That'll give you general access to ChatGPT even during those peak times. Plus, you get faster response times and priority access to any new features and improvements they roll out. Sliding in at number two, what can ChatGPT do? Well, because of its natural language processing, ChatGPT can simulate human language. This makes it ideal for a lot of tasks. Customer service, like I mentioned, language translation. It can write public relations stuff. It can do sales copy. However, the large language model also lets it write computer code, essays, resumes, cover letters, it can act as a copywriter. It can even write poems, stories, and music, though how good you think it is at those may vary. At number one, what can't ChatGPT do? Well, think. ChatGPT can seem like it knows everything, but it doesn't actually know anything. It's merely picking words in an order it thinks match how it's been trained to. It's not trying to make its responses factually accurate, so only as accurate as the training data is, is how accurate it's going to be. Since people say things that are wrong, and that can be in the training data, ChatGPT can sometimes emulate people who say wrong things. It doesn't know, it's just emulating what it's been told. Furthermore, ChatGPT can struggle to understand and generate context-specific responses, although it's getting better than that, and it doesn't really engage in complex reasoning or problem solving. So ChatGPT is a great tool for generating text. It might even be a huge time saver depending on what you're using it for, but it needs some oversight. Don't just accept whatever it puts out as perfect. If you want more great tech news and info, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash dailytechnewsshow and get the podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. I'll see you there.